Detangling 101, start at your root. I forgot I'm still filming on this side. Hey YouTube. Okay, so this side is all detangled. And I usually check by running my fingers through my hair and if it glides through, then it's all good. And also make sure you're applying it to your scalp because the co-wash is meant to be a light cleanse. Your scalp is the thing that needs to be cleansed the most because that's where you get you know, your product buildup. So just make sure that you're rubbing the conditioner or the co-wash into your scalp. I went on live while I was in the shower. That was a first time thing. That was my first time using an actual conditioner on my hair to co-wash because I ended up leaving my co-wash at my boyfriend's house. So I had to improvise. And the definition of co-wash is using conditioner as a co-wash. So it worked out pretty well. My hair feels like it's co-wash. My scalp was feeling a little dry from like just not washing my hair or refreshing my hair for a couple days. So my scalp feels good, my hair feels good. So that was actually a pretty good idea not mad at that so now i'm just gonna i like to part my hair i'm like like that and then i'm just going to apply some leave-in conditioner to my hair i haven't done a wash and go with just leave-in conditioner in a while so i just wanted to just try it out because i love conditioners like if you struggle with dry hair you probably are not using enough conditioner in your life <laughs> they are the moisture that is what you need like if your hair is dry i feel like you may not be conditioning as often as you should and as you can see even after using a conditioner to co-wash my hair i'm still using a leave-in conditioner to condition my hair because moisture hello section my hair i'm using the as i am leave-in conditioner this is my favorite leave-in conditioner oh shoot i could have used the other leave-in conditioner uh, the natural has one too crap i didn't even think about using theirs okay actually i do want to use theirs because i haven't tried theirs out on my hair alone before so let me do that hold on okay all right, change my conditioners because I wanted to try this one. I tried the leave. Can you fix? Can you stop me? So we're going to use this one instead. As you can see, this is like a thicker leave-in conditioner. It's thicker than this as I am leave-in conditioner. So that's pretty good if you do have thicker hair. So let's see how this works out. I like to use a lot of leave-in conditioner and then I'll focus it on the ends. Make sure you're getting your ends. Moisturized ends are very important. I mean, I do really love the As I Am leave-in conditioner. But the great thing about this leave-in conditioner by Natural is that you don't have to use as much because it is on the thicker side. So this one definitely will work better in your hair and probably leave your hair moisturized longer without having to worry about putting like more product on your hair. So say you're in a rush. Like if you just want to wear a leave-in conditioner, this leave-in conditioner will probably be better. Since it's a thicker consistency, it will moisturize your hair a lot longer. Okay, I'm gonna wet my hair one last time just to seal in all this 
leave-in conditioner that I just added and then I will be back with my final thoughts. Not too bad actually, just to have some leave-in conditioner in my hair. So I just wanted to kind of like give you guys my final thoughts about co-washes. So as we learned in this video, you don't need to use an actual co-wash to co-wash your hair. You can just use a conditioner that you have. So this is the co-wash that I usually use, the As I Am Coconut Co-wash. But I ended up leaving this over my boyfriend's house, which is where I currently am now. I'm back over here. But I ended up improvising and using just a conditioner that I had and it worked out pretty well. My scalp does not feel dry or itchy. My hair feels moisturized. It feels honestly about the same as if I like co-washed my hair with regular co-wash. So I feel like if you don't have a co-wash or if you just wanna use a conditioner, I still like using a co-wash because I feel like it has like other stuff in it to like cleanse my hair a little better or cleanse my scalp a little better. And I say if you're gonna co-wash regularly, like throughout the week I would try to use a co-wash if you can but to say if you don't have the coins for it or if you run out like I said you could just improvise and use a conditioner because this works pretty well like I'm not mad so once again co-wash is the act of using a conditioner to cleanse and condition your hair it's like a quick like burr bath that doesn't strip your hair of its moisture like a shampoo would and it also conditions your hair and it just helps to retain your moisture throughout the week to be honest. A few reasons why it would be important for you to co-wash throughout the week. For me, the reason I co-wash is to refresh my hair, to refresh my curls. I only plan two days throughout the week to do anything to my hair. I have a wash day and then I have a co-wash day and that's literally it. Um, unless I am restyling my hair a lot, aka doing a lot of hairstyles or whatever, then I'll co-wash more often. But I only have one wash day and then I co-wash. Co-washing really helps to give you that quick refresh to your curls and your scalp because over time our scalp does get dry. And I know a lot of times when you want to refresh your hair or you may not feel like wetting, re-wetting the whole thing again. But honestly, I just feel like my hair just looks better with products on my hair when my hair is fresh. So if I could just quickly cleanse it with conditioner and then put a leave-in conditioner and then style it after that, then it works out perfectly for me. So that's my main reason to refresh my curls throughout the week, which in return helps me to retain my moisture, which is why I rarely struggle with dry hair and people always ask me that question like how do you keep your hair moisturized how do you keep your hair moisturized and it's honestly just making sure your eyes fully moisturize my hair on my wash days and do my complete routine and then co-washing when necessary in between my wash days to keep the consistency of my hair staying moisturized again just remember co-washing helps to retain your moisture throughout the week, okay? Also, some different co-washing routines. Everybody has different co-washing routines. Like I said, I usually co-wash my hair once a week. If I'm rocking a wash and go, and I'm not doing a lot of restyling, then I'll just do once a week. If I'm styling my hair a lot, and doing a lot of hairstyles, or I'm using a lot of like gels on my hair, or heavy products that cause buildup, or makes my hair oily or dry or whatever, then I'll probably co-wash a few times a week. Especially if you struggle with dry hair, um, I would say to co-wash your hair. Whenever your hair is feeling like it's feeling kind of dry and you need a refresher and you, it's not your wash day or you just don't feel like shampooing your hair, then go ahead and co-wash really quick with your co-wash or with your conditioner. And obviously making sure that you pay attention to your scalp when you're co-washing. Just a reminder, that is the most important. You need to massage it into your scalp. That's the only way that the conditioner is gonna get the dirt out off your scalp 
if you don't massage it into your scalp, then the dirt's still gonna be there. And then making sure that you obviously detangle your hair because you need to make sure your hair is detangled multiple times a week anyways. That's why I like co-washing too, cause it's like on wash days I'm able to detangle my hair, which my hair stays fine until I have to co-wash again. And then that's another opportunity for me to moisturize and detangle my hair. And then that's it, and then I'm good. So this is everything that you needed to know about co-washing. I hope this video helped you better understand what the heck is co-washing, why the heck is important, how the heck, <laughs> how often you need to co-wash. If you have any questions, comment down below. Um, if you have any other questions about co-washing or anything else. And I love to see who watched until the end. I like to see who my real ones are. So comment three purple hearts if you watched until the end. And I'm gonna flood you with so much love and appreciation. Bye. 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 Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you guys later. I don't know how to end videos. I don't know how to start videos or I don't know how to end it. So, yeah.